Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to create a weird monster pumpkin plant inside the plant factory uh, with some adjustments. So right here, let's go run a few seeds so you can see with the different pumpkins, different sizes. So it's kind of will go like crazy different pumpkins we're going to do. But overall, it just look how we can create all this twisty, twisty stuff. Um, leaves, materials, how we can apply plants. We're also going to make something even a little bit more different, like we're going to make them glow as well in the wood, just create a little bit more different atmospheres, create more as well, just apply some metallic um, effects, see what is going on. So we'll work a little bit in a wood, but majority time we will spend inside the plant factory to set up this um, little bit unusual plant. So let's go ahead and start working on this. Okay, so let's go ahead to create kind of weird, maybe pumpkin monster plant uh, close to Halloween and also give us maybe some ideas what you can do inside the plant factory. So right now we have it our root. This is our beginning and uh, one I want to create a base. So let's go ahead. We'll go to geometry and we'll go to um, select the trunk. Let's connect our trunk to this right here. This is a little bit tall on our trunk. So we'll go to modify. Let's take our trunk and link. I probably want to go down to maybe like set uh, one meter. And you know what? As we're doing this, as we're setting all these different parameters, I also like to add some randomization. And this has happened when we start putting in a VU example. Um, it will take random and says, hey, let's adjust anywhere from this value to this. So it's a one and we can put it like 0 0.5 meters. So just example, it's going to be higher or lower health meter up. So this is kind of a nice way to go with this. Um, let's go to radius maybe and let's pop up our radius higher. And maybe let's go like somewhere on there. Okay. So it's a little bit too low. You know what? Let's go put it 1.2. Just a little bit taller. Again, does not look like a some stamp, but again, I'm doing just for the beginning and right our mask. I want to just take this and bring up our shape. So we have a little bit more kind of starting out. Let's go ahead and click OK on this one. Um, we want to keep it all defined. Trapezium, you know what? We can pop up to five. It doesn't really matter in these cases. So it doesn't affect us. Okay, that does look good. Uh, with the meshing, we may be increased, but we'll see what's going on. Cap, this is what I want to do because right now you can see it's kind of round. And I want to go change this. So I'm going to just create a new point and maybe just bring up to here. Up. There you go. So we just have a flat kind of so it will help us to blend in the fusion just overall work with this. OK, so this is look OK. Let's go right now to our root flares. This is where we can have a little bit more fun. So let's go increase maybe to about seven. Uh, let's type in. So we'll put it seven plus minus one, which is good. Uh, this one may be 0 0.7 as well. Give it kind of spread to us a little bit relative height. OK, let's go maybe 2.5. Oops, mistyping. Five, there you go. Just kind of creating this weird little bit of looking um, pop up base as well. And let's take our deep. Maybe like, woo, too deep. Well, we'll see what's going on here. But you can see we're kind of creating this weird base. It's what we're trying to do. And right there, let's go with also too much. And we can play with this a little bit later, maybe come back. But I want to create this kind of weird base. So it's from beginning kind of created for us. Um, we could apply a little bit more on the number, maybe instead seven, we can decrease them or make more. So it's kind of wider. 
play around this one, see which one, what you think it will look okay. But again, this is just a base base for our stock. So this is one trunk. We'll come back to this as we continue tweaking, you know, around, see what's going on here. And I think right now let's go create a branch. And this is will be our stem going over. Okay, let me go ahead, try reposition just slightly right there so we can see it. Okay, we'll go create a new um, geometry and we'll go create a branch segment. Let's take our branch segment and we'll go to connect no children. Well, you can see right now it's quite a bit of them pop up. So we can go back in the trunk first. Let's go in the branch. Actually, before this, you know, I want, oops, I don't want this. I want to rename it. Let's go stem. So I kind of know what it is one. Okay. So we'll go in a trunk at this point and in a trunk, we'll go to our stamp location. And here we need to switch a couple things because right now it's the going growing all over. I want to change in positioning top of the segment. As I said, top of the segment, a lot of stuff is disappearing, which is fine. Um, we want to set angle to zero. So it goes straight from top. Okay. Uh, we don't want any pruning on this one. With the blending, we probably want just a little bit blend in. And this is we can kind of play a little bit with the settings. So there, uh, let's go just a. Uh, Play maybe child with like run there, and of course this is will be changed because when we applied um, inside the stem. But I think for now it's kind of okay. So let's go inside the stem itself. Okay, right here, and let's work a little bit on um, adjustment. So one thing what I want to do it's creating very long. Let's create about 40 and plus minus 10. So it's quite a bit long, like 40 meters, whatever long. Okay. The um, radius inherited and right here we want 100%. Well, I don't want 117. I want 100%. So it will be same and you can see how stem is going up. So we think kind of bigger for us. Okay. We'll leave it simpling. On the meshing, we actually will probably come back to meshing and both stop a little bit, but not at this point. And a cap leave about same, except I don't like how it tempering. I want it's going smoothly to the zero. So for this, we'll go open our profile and we'll just take this end and going all the way to zero. Let's go ahead and click OK. And you can see right now we have this nice um, going element. I'm not see maybe I want to reduce a little bit on a trunk diameter so we can go back to segment and right here radius we can probably just maybe set about nine. So we'll see, we'll come back to this play a little bit more. So right now we have our root maybe too wide. We'll see what we can do with that later. Come back to this. Um, we have it also our long stem. And you know what? I think with the this stem, we need to go inside the influence. And inside the influence, let's add a couple things so we can kind of see it at the same time. For this, we'll go to have it local base enable. Let's go switch this to the curl. So one that you can see it's already start kind of nice curling. Okay. Um, we want to probably let's go pop up this maybe 2.21. I think it's about right. And uh, this one maybe let's go to one and 0 0.1 here. So it's kind of playing ground. See how it's going inside. I don't necessarily want this. We'll go to modified. So what are we going to do? It's take this end and bring all the way down, maybe around here. So it's going one DC one way, but we don't necessarily want this. We want to bring back up. So we'll go bring back up here. And we'll add point. 
and bring this little bit down, something like that, maybe. You can see it's kind of like a hook, except this one, you know what, maybe... Go like this. Repositioning, so just kind of leave it twisty element, twisty twist going. On this end, we maybe want to bring a little bit up, because I want to go put a pumpkin on top of this. So we'll just go like this. And go like this, maybe. There you go, something. Let's add another twisty right here. You can play with kind of one, but I think that one is look okay. The main idea, so we can preview, see how it's going at this point. Um, let's go ahead, add another base for this one. And we'll go again with the curl. Let's just add one more curl. But I want to add maybe in different little bit directions. So we'll just, in this case, going with the Y, X, add to zero. Um, 0, 0,5, and you know what, we can put 0, 0,5 as well, so it will compensate, sometimes maybe going more, sometimes going a little bit less, and right there you can see how it's collapsed. One thing what I want to do, it's enable interactions, and we want to be sure ground and object turn on, so that will help us, and we want to do this in another areas. So I don't necessarily like what's happening here, we can fix this by bringing just about here to middle. This is prevent from dropping too low, but how I want twist not just going in one direction, you can see it's going also this way. So it's kind of playing a little bit more with a different X, Y, so it's look a little bit more interesting. Okay, let's adjust. Right here we have it. Okay, um, still I think root a little bit too much on the trunk. Let's go back here and maybe just, you know, reduce base. Reduce handomness. Let's go relative. Yeah, maybe something like this. And I definitely with need to be reduced. Okay, so that little bit better. Okay, we'll work a little bit more on this one. Okay, at this point we have our root. Oops, right here we have it. I don't want to connect that. We have our trunk. We have our stamp. Now we can add additional details to this. The one detail we definitely want to add something twirly on this or twisty. So let's go ahead. Geometry, branch segment. Let's go call it twisty. Okay, there you go. And this is will be same as a branch. We'll go connect to our children. To one of these. Okay. Let's come air because it says, hey, right here something happened. And we'll fix this in a second. Let's go now inside the stem, okay? And we'll go look on our twisty connections. So what do we want here? We want number, let's reduce maybe to about seven, plus minus one, that should be good. Um, per link, we want to same, no relative, all about same. Start, that is kind of nice because I want to start maybe about Push a little bit more to the top or bottom. Let's see. Let's start maybe from here. Let's look around. Yeah, about that area where we want to start it. And not necessarily up top, so we'll reduce where we want to end. So we'll just put it around here because this is I want to have it clear so they don't kind of intersect with other ones. Well, actually, 0 0.8, maybe around there, a little bit closer. Okay, our orientation placement. So let's go look. We have a placement. It is um, 
purpose same we don't want this one orientation angle is 30 plus so we'll leave it as is uh, next let's go look on our pruning we don't want any pruning here but we want to let it enable our blending so we have it a nicer kind of effect only with the blending we don't want too much we want just reduce one nice blending but not so it will affect too too much blend right here that is good okay now let's go inside the, our twisties and in a twist is what I want to do. It's kind of great going fall around, twist a lot of places. So that one, we actually want to have them quite a bit long. So let's go ahead, create about 25 link and about 10 plus minus. So they will have it quite a bit different sizes will go on there. Okay, uh, radius inherited. However, I want to shrink down, so I don't want that big. Let's go about 20 maybe. So just like long, semi twisty twist. And same things, we'll just go zero. So it's look a little bit more like those prods going around strikes left and right. Uh, let's drop them down. So they want to go graphism, we'll go a little bit down. Okay, around that area and we'll leave it all as default meshing we will need probably increase but i think in the future we'll go come back and we'll add with meshing because when we start doing curl you can we'll see the breakage kind of because mesh is not good enough so we'll come back to this as well okay um i think this is okay let's go to influence and here's where we have a little bit more fun so we'll leave it wind sensitivity um Hmm, you know what? Let's go reduce this one. I don't want them too much in the wind, just a little bit move. Gust in this motion will disable, so they're kind of hanging. We'll enable local base one and uh, we'll go with the curly. Let's go curl again, them. Yeah, and on a curly, let's go to put them a little bit like right there, curly this way, and maybe two and let's try this one and we don't need on this one so let's go drop this to zero okay also i want to go to limited so we'll go to limited at this point maybe just bring about right down here and we'll just bring up slightly Okay, so let's go OK, and now we'll adjust this as well. Let's go bring a little bit up on the end. Maybe just a little bit down here. And play around with the some settings. Okay, so it's kind of twisty. I don't know if it's too much. Yeah, let's add some more swirl to this i think it's what we needed so we'll go to directions so let's go so we'll select swirl to this and swirl will help kind of more twisty twist to do okay let's go to okay so they're on there okay 0 0.3 let's add randomization to this 0 0.2 add a little bit of randomization and on our swirly, we want going with the uh, probably pop up on X quite a bit. So let's go like maybe pop up on X. Let's go pop up a little bit on a Y. Ooh, too much, a little bit less. And maybe like this. Okay. So there you go. Now we have it quite a bit of this curly going around. We do want them drop down on the ground, but before this, I want to also enable with the ground so we don't kind of help with these ones. And trophism, let's see, if we can drop them a little bit more down here, like right there. Okay, there you go. Um, Hmm, we can look how it's look. Maybe it's too long, but it is 
interesting effect if we create it. Remember, there will be small hiding, you know, maybe twist a little bit too hard. So let's go back to influence. And on influence, right here on a swirl, you know what? Let's go take swirl and drop down like right here. So there you go. We're also going on this one. And you know what? Let's just uh, drop a little bit. So we have a swirl only on the ends kind of going. Yeah, I think this is a little better. So we have it. Okay, so right here we're gonna do it. Let's go ahead and add a couple other effects to this. Again, we'll we'll come back. We'll probably come back to fix this end. I don't necessarily like it how it's going. I want to go up. So my pumpkin stick up kind of right there to create my monster. Um, right now, let's go create geometry. We'll do another branch segment. Let's call this uh, leaf. Okay, and we'll just take and connect to another child. So right there, our leaves. We can go again back to the trunk. Let's go inside the leaf. Um, or actually, it is a trunk branch. You know what? Um, I think maybe I need different. Maybe I should create stem. I don't need connect here. It's what I do wrong. Okay, let me delete this one. And actually, I don't need my trunk. Let's close this one. Trunk here. I need to connect to my stem. I'm connecting to wrong place. Okay. Right here. There you go. That is the right place because it's going on the bottom and was a little bit confused. Okay, let's go back to our stem. Now we're going to our leaf. Look on this one. And let's go see what we have. We're going to put it six. Two, I think that should be enough. Again, we can switch. And again, remember, this is random. So it will be six leaf, but it can be anywhere from uh, four up to eight, which is kind of nice about this. So we have this nice randomization. Okay, we'll leave it this as default, everything relative. Uh, you know, maybe just pop up a little bit. Uh, just slightly up. Okay, we want to start. Here's the interesting thing. Start at 0, 5. And our end, we don't want to go end there. So let's bring them down. Because again, we don't want to cover with those big leaves. Well, we'll see. We maybe want to even drop a little bit more, like 6 to this. Okay. On a placement, we want to have it a rule. So we'll go with a rule and you can see how they're switching a little bit. So let's go like maybe minus 90 degrees around, somewhere around that area. And we want coil as well. So let's go about 32. And we can put it this 10 and 10 on one of them. So just right here. And I know maybe I don't like it how it's look right here. So let's go ahead and maybe like about 50 here. And let's drop about 30. There you go. Again, we can play a little bit more with those positioning, but it's help us create all this randomization effect here. Okay, now on orientation, our angle is six. But I think before we do this, let's go in um, inside our leaf because I want to see and I want to enable blades. So now we can go back here, back to our leaves and um, okay with the leaves. Oh yeah, let's go enable blending till I see this. So it will blend well and rotation. Let's go on the rotation. Maybe see what we want to rotate them around there. So they can go up down. So this is a rotation done. Now we're ready to go inside the leaf. And inside the leaf, I just play a little bit with that link. Now, I think the link may be 23. Let's go create crazy, crazy links on them. Okay, again, plus minus four. Okay. And um, here's interesting because I don't want this thick going all over. So I'm going to reduce 
and we're going inside here, create new point, take this down and take this all the way down. So it's kind of like it disappears. So it will look nice, clean leap for us. Okay, and also trophism, let's go drop them down. Somewhat like this. Okay, our blades, I'm not like how they begin on at a start. So we'll go and move our start point kind of around here. And we'll leave it end point at tucked, except the blade width. I want to play with this a little bit. So I want the blade and let's switch this to the soft. So I want my blade going like right here. And we'll take top one and just maybe leave it around this. I think this way it's a little bit smaller. Uh, we could cut actually top off on these, but um, we'll see how it will go. Okay, so let's go ahead, click OK. And as we work on profile, let's just couple things add a little bit more fun to this. So we'll take this profile, just add a little bit kind of, you can see a little bit more interesting shape to our leaves and maybe a little bit too high. Let's go right here, switch this also to a bit softer adjustments. Click OK. Let's go to modify another shape here and we'll go just to bring a little bit of the edge. Same, let's go softer, kind of there you go. And you can see what's happening. We just add a little bit more shape to our leaves. So they look a little bit fun. And you know what, with these leaves, we'll probably going to use a special texture with alpha. Um, let's just reload it. You know what I mean? Let's go ahead. Let's go select the leaf palms and we'll just use this one. Click OK. And you can see with alpha, it's already very nice kind of applied. So we'll just do those ones. Uh, right here, you notice we have a break and it's what nice we're using with texture because we can go in a segment and also start end and let's move our start a little bit more closer. There you go. So we're kind of going with the edge, except now I want to push it this little bit more out. There you go. Okay, zoom out. Yeah, I think this way it's look nicer already. Okay, so here's uh, our leaf, you know what? And as we're working with the leaf, we could just take a little bit and make it wider if you want. I don't think if I want too wide, but here's about our leaves. You know what? We'll see, we'll go. Oh, as we work here, I want actually going inside the influence right now. And one thing we definitely want to, it is interaction. So what is meaning when leaf go down on the ground, it's kind of going with the ground. It just does not going stick in. So we want to do it this way. And let's go add maybe another couple local base with curl. So same things, we'll do curl on this one. Uh, we'll do maybe not as much, a little bit less, 21. And let's do 0 0.1. Just to add a little bit more effect to our leaves, kind of look nicer. And then we'll leave it just default. Flexibility, you know, maybe reduce a little bit on flexibility on this because the heavier leaves. I think this is about okay now for the leaves. Okay, so we have it our stem, our leaves. Okay, let's go right here, set this color just for the nodes, twisty twist. Let's go set uh, maybe about this color and just to make differential the some of those coloring nodes. Okay, I think this is kind of okay. Next, let's go to create thorns and well because thorns will make this plant look a little bit more dangerous so for this we'll same things we'll use geometry branch segment let's go call thorns on this and we'll go 
connect them to new child you know what let's go to make coloring on this dangerous red okay and on the thorns so we're going to right now our stem going click on the thorns and let's add actually a bunch of thorns so let's add like maybe 38 thorns plus minus five okay um we'll just leave it start at the zero and at, um, let's go back because we don't want thorns all the way otherwise this will become messy a little bit right here at this point okay we'll do this way placement we have it a roll uh let's go like 41 plus 5 and the uh, this one maybe about 90 hundred somewhere around that area okay five again it's kind of creating orientation we don't care on this case so let's go right now um oh yeah we want blending we were sure the one those ones we want blend them very well Okay, so let's go ahead right now in the thorn here. And we'll start with our segments. And you know what? Let's go just to make them 4.5 maybe. About. And we'll set maybe about 2 on this one. So radio these ones will just take slightly down. And we thorns definitely need to be sharp. So we'll just create them very pokey on this case. We will just leave it as default. However, we could actually put it just to one so the stick leave it out. Depend from like right here. Um, we'll leave it skin standard. It's all parametric, all the same things. Mashing will leave it how I say before, and copying will leave it about same as the going right there. And let's go to root transforms influence. So let's go look on influence what we have here and we'll just leave it as default except we don't want any flexibility on the wind at all I uh, guess much less disconnect so we don't want any on those one of thorns so I think this kind of almost all with the thorns however we do have a little bit right here if you can see on a top the kind of going little bit longer so i don't necessarily want this so let's go ahead back in the stem back back in the thorns and we'll take this scale right here let's go first take this little bit down on the top so you can see it's will kind of affecting right there a little bit okay so we'll go right here and reduce scale slightly down there you go. So we still have a thorns, but let's go to just, yeah, we want this end, we want higher. So it's will affect, and we'll just want this top ones going down. There you go. So it will look just a little bit better on the beginning, and we'll still have a top. So there you go. I think these thorns look okay. And um, now I think we can go create pumpkin on the top. Um, first, for this stem that is twisty, and you can see on the stem where we have the influences right here. We have our curl, and this curl actually I want to probably bring back up. So let's go just stick up all the way, some around here, okay. And we'll go inside here. And just bring this a little bit up. Just like this, maybe. Bring just this top. Okay. Right here. Yeah, I think around that area. Okay, there you go. So adjust it. Again, this is kind of, you need it almost experimented like right there, bring it up, because I won't bring this end up, up on the top. I think there you go. 
So this way it's kind of going up. Yep, that is what I wanted. Okay, so we're going actually to use um, Urich for this. And we'll go Geometry. And we're going to Urich Primitive. So it's the same like a ball, but it's allowed us to create quite a bit interesting effects on this. And we'll just bright like this one. Okay, let's go ahead and connect it. Oh, I don't want to close. I just want the rename. Okay, Pumpkin. There you go. Okay, and a stem will go inside the, our pumpkin. And a couple of things we want to be sure it's be on the tip of the segment. We don't want there. We just want right here angle. We want zero. We don't want on any angle at all. We do want to enable blending. I just help a little bit on the end. And I notice right here, see how it is sitting on this pointy thing. So let's go to our stem. Okay, and we'll go to our preview. And right here, we'll just add point and bring this up. Just about like right there. So we'll have it a little bit more looking as a stamp and less pointy in this case. Okay. Now let's go ahead, I think with a stem and with a pumpkin, I think this is about all. Next we'll go to pumpkin itself. And here's will be a little bit more interesting things what we're going to do. First, we'll work on our profile and our okay, profile, it's overall will be size. So we'll go click. And one thing, we'll just take this top. Oh, I don't want this one. I want right here, put it this point. Okay, and I want to take this point, squeeze a little bit down, and this squeeze a little bit this way. So it will let me kind of squeeze, apply. Okay, so kind of a little bit pumpkin-y looking. Okay, we'll need to bring it down. So we'll adjust that one. And uh, next, I want to actually take and create section because right now it's a ball. It's just a round things, round ball. So we want to go and let's go pivot offset a wrong way. So we'll put it right here. There go. I think it's about right, maybe. Around there, let's bring a little bit on top, like right there. There you go. Okay. So now um, it is just round, but I want to put those lines like in a pumpkin. We'll go work with the sections. And this is kind of a little bit more tricky. So we'll go click, 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 create all those points. Okay, on the sections. It's right there. Don't worry about too much. We'll readjust them. Let's bring back some of those points. Okay, we want them on the middle. Okay, right here, and I so I create one more. It's okay because we go create new one, and bring them a little bit down in. So like right here. Okay, we'll just create this weird little bit shape, like right there. We'll already create one point here, another point. We probably don't need it that hard to put a shit in. In, but I think it will work for now. And we can see. Okay. One more. There you go. Apply. Okay. And there you go. We don't have anything displayed. Her. So what we want to do, we want to change from this to parametric. Okay. And most important, we don't have our meshing properly. So I want to pop up this to about two. And as we pop up to two, you can see now we have, so our mesh was a little bit lower. We can go three, but I think two, it's just good enough. On the top, have it one small problem. So we'll go back and we want to bring this little bit up. Apply, there you go. Okay, there you go. Here's our kind of shape like pumpkin. We can play more with the change uniformity, but I think this is will work. Okay, only on the top, we need to add one more thing. And let's go to geometry and um, we'll go as 
use the flower. We don't need this trumpet, so we'll erase these ones. And we'll take our pumpkin and connect to the flower. Well, it is a little bit too many flowers. It's look like cactus almost. So in a flower, okay, let's go pumpkin. Right here where it says numbers, we'll go to select one. We want only one flower, okay? And start and end to one. There you go. And let's go take scale and scale down, down so it will be smaller. I don't want anything, just kind of nice. It's something on top sitting there. Okay, let's go to add. Kind of more leaves below, so it will attach a little bit properly together. It does not look very good in this case. And we'll go to select geometry and we're going to use it Hydra. So Hydra will help us um, to add stuff. So we'll go create here and you know, let's select Hydra. Let's go kind of like with a this color. Okay, new children, connect to the Hydra. Okay, and in a Hydra, I don't think we'll see that much. So we want to actually create new branch. Okay, and we'll just take this branch and connect to the Hydra. So we kind of can see it. And of course, they're all over places. Look very interesting. So you can create a lot of interesting effect with this, but we don't want this. We want to go inside there our Hydra. Uh, yeah, let's leave it just Hydra. I like that name. Okay. And in a Hydra, we want to switch this to the tip of the segment. So let's bring up. Uh, we want orientation to set to the zero. Okay, next, let's go inside the Hydra and we'll set 12. I think 12 may be okay will be. So yeah, let's leave it 12. And let's shrink our radius to about zero. Okay, we'll leave it scale at one. And that is kind of like positioning for us. For those one leaves that we want to do it. Okay, now let's go to the branch. And instead of the branch, we'll call this flower. Okay, so inside the flower, let's go ahead, our link, let's go pop up maybe to about seven plus minus two. So you can see there will be different links, each of them, which is kind of nice creating. Um, we'll go the inherit, actually, you know what, let's go to user define, okay, right here, because I want to create my style, so right there, again, we want to shrink down because it will be part of the leaf and we'll take this one and bring as well like that. Click OK. So if we want to preview, let's click on a blade so we can see blades as well in this case. Um, tropism, let's go ahead and drop this actually down. So we'll go like way down about 9991 and 0 0.2. Actually, you know what, let's go to minus one here. And here we'll have it 0 0.4. So it will be a little bit different. Some up, some down, a little bit more going on this. So look right now in a blades, one blade, it's fine. Let's again, starting, um, probably we'll start from beginning. It will go on top, it's fine. Only the um, blade width, let's go work a little bit on this. We'll take this down, take about right here bringing this end up. Okay, let's go bring this a little bit down and down like this. Okay, let's switch to kind of more round issues. So we have it a little bit nicer curves. Okay, click OK. Um, with again, what I want to do is click after size. So it will make a little bit nicer. There you go. I think they look kind of interesting, except the pumpkin a bit small will pop up size in a second. And again, we can go ahead and same things as before. We can play just a little bit with a, like right there with a little bit 
shape of the leaves. I think it's kind of give it interesting to look at. Okay, so this way, and um, let's go again to influence and influence again. We'll go to the basis. We'll go to switch to the curl. So we want to a lot of curling. We'll go here. Okay, we'll leave it curl maybe a little bit less on this one, three five, and uh, yeah, I think this is about right. So we'll just leave it like this. Maybe you know, curl zero point one. So we'll have it. There you go. Some leaves up, down. You know what? Maybe let's go to zero point two. There you go. So it's even better now. Okay. So we said the uh, um, sizes. I think you know what? Oh, let's go to back to those leaves, flower, actually, and look on the segment. And we have at seven. Maybe going. Let's go with eight, and we'll set this one to about three. So this way, it will have a little bit more randomness of how long short kind of look nice also on a pumpkin we have it a radius to one i think we could create a little bit bigger radius so it's look a little bit more kind of sticking out like this okay and uh, we can go also set run so let's go ahead two right here and we maybe set you know what 1.5 so it can be crazy it's going to be or very small or big and i think that will kind of make more interesting so and uh, maybe 1.6 so it's possibilities the pumpkin can be teeny tiny on the middle or it can be bigger size so i think that will be kind of more effect and right here you can see we have a nice or a monstrous plant with a, a pumpkin on the top okay so let's go ahead and work a little bit on materials to apply it notice we don't have it any seasonal or the age are add to this it's okay we'll just work what we have right now and uh, first we want to work on our trunk and this is will apply to everything so i'm going to create material for this and we'll go easy way easy i mean i already preload some and by the way if you need it um some materials i'll recommend going to like a um, substance 3d where the substance share and people create or uh, Algorithmic also have the free texture. You don't need purchase, but you can use it. Those um, substance material they work very well inside the plant factory and VU. So you can use it them as well. And I'm going sometimes crazy with metal, maybe or other things, but but overall, I think we'll just use this one. And for now, what I was going to do it is going to my um, so they have a substance. You know what? Let's go ahead and open folder and I have it frog leather I don't know why but I think frog leather will look very good and notice it's applied to everything so it's nice because it's parenting I don't need to everything but for now I think it will work for what I needed so next we'll go to twisty we leave it as default leaf will have a texture for this thorns need something different so let's go to the materials again we'll open one open preload we'll go to to um, bark maybe branches leaves okay yeah let's go on a bark I think this is you will have this with you and we'll just select bridge bark and click OK I think this is will be very nice for the thorn those flower leaves oh, and we have two flowers so we have a flower on top okay let's go to top so we don't confuse what is this so we'll go to flower leaves uh, let's go to materials open open here let's go to leaves and maybe select this similar sleeve i think that one will look good click ok let's go preview what we have it yep okay now let's work on our pumpkin and our pumpkin we'll go with materials open except we don't pbr we want just simple material for now okay right here let me extend so we can preview and uh, we don't want yeah we want simple object parametric applied here and we want the procedural colors actually no natural green there you go let's go with natural green so we'll select one color pumpkin orange second color a little bit more reddish kind of coloring so they apply this way 
normals we want um, none displacement oh we actually can leave it let's leave it that one i'm being i'm being inclusion constant and highlights constant let's go select white color on this bright shiny there you go so it's kind of applied to this let's go back on a color maybe no let's go with a darker so we have a little bit more kind of effect going here let's go also add one more layer and we'll switch this to natural green we'll give it one darker green one yellowish kind of green like this okay uh, let's go highlights same density is applied the one we sure we want this as well object parametric and we want to take present and drop down kind of on the bottom and let's make it kind of like right there okay also we can go to displacement and just click add on the displacement all the way so we have at the top and let's go work on the top one we'll create new layer simple material color natural grain we'll go select one going with a little bit yellowish here and this color as well greenish yellowish maybe even you know what let's go with brownie darker kind of like this so there is our natural grain um same we'll go be sure it is set object parametric presence let's go to top like right there and we'll just uh, going this way so just add again displacement add highlights bright a little bit shiny to match so we'll just add a little bit those effects let's click ok and uh, just preview we'll have it a little bit darker and brighter on top so just kind of nicer look you know what let's go come closer oh, we can add work thorns actually let's look nice okay so let's go right here we'll go to render and of course remember always press save control save okay so let's go ahead and see just render see how it's come up we maybe need work a little bit more at top but i think overall it's not bad looking for now so our ellipses look good plant again we can go and apply a different i'm not sure if i like some of these um see like breaking here so this is what we're going to fix now like we're going twisty we're going now in a segment and with meshing let's pop up to three so you can see it's smoother out quite a bit of this so in some case we want to see what else we want to smooth i think just only those twisty stuff to look okay uh root we can go ahead and um take a trunk let's go on a segment on a trunk and root flares maybe just to reduce this stuff so depth on this some other one so it's a little stretchy uh, maybe too stretchy let's go back on the depth okay so right there our leaves look okay still be a little bit maybe on a twisty work and mostly on these influences so it's what i want to do uh, because we do have it effect but maybe a little bit less so let's go look what we have we could apply a little bit less like right there okay and let's go open here and bring kind of closer closer there you go just a little bit more interesting twisting okay bring this one up yeah i think this twist you look a little bit better so we can play with those changes okay our leaves look okay so let's go ahead over some random numbers so 10 yeah 
a red show. Let's go just to add two percent as randomness appears maybe zero point three. Okay, so on the this one leaves. So let's go with the leaves. Um, flexibility. We don't care. We go in segment four. It's all right. So radio. Let's go put a two additional percent. Topism zero point two as well. Okay, start and I think this is about right. Okay, let's go to thorns and our segment. So we have it link four five. Okay, that is good. Right, it shows we maybe about five add random here. This again, all this random is help when we start creating all this. Uh, populating them and they will can be all all different and we'll try to do this we'll see what's going on so i think it's somewhat look interesting a little bit different plant but i hope it's give you some ideas and i think in the future I'll maybe create one with a mouth you know like from the tv show or something so we can have this plant with a mouth eating Okay, I think that one is look good. Okay, so let's go ahead, save it and go inside the view and try to render there. Okay, so let's go ahead, we'll right click and we'll go to load our model. Yeah, before we actually need to go file, export and export into view as a species. This is what we need to do. Okay, yep, right here we have one. Let's go open. And here's our plant. We'll just move it out a little bit. Let's go take our main camera, move it out and look over. So right here is our monster plant that we just created. Okay. Notice it's a little bit different from what we created because it's used this um, species. It's what we did it. So if we create another one, it will look different and we can create another one and it's look it's have a teeny tiny pumpkin on this so it's a nice thing so what i like it it's creating all of these different species and you know maybe one day i need i'll have a time and i'll just go in create uh seasonal changes and how it's growing because that could be fun as well but overall here is our pumpkins and we can just create more and more of them just oops I don't want to rescale. I want them plant. So you can see all these different pumpkins. Let's go take our main camera, put a little bit down. We'll just go add a water level. Let's bring just slightly up our sea level. Right here, maybe. Whoa, I don't want ground. I want my sea level. go and my form got way crazy so let's go right here we'll take our form and we'll just reduce alpha boost on the form because i don't want that on default water we're going with the transparency and let's go to reduce depth there you go a little bit better uh, also on the bumps let's go to reduce depth of the bumps we want a little bit more calm. Okay, click OK. And you know what? Let's drop even down like this, maybe. Right here, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit more. There you go. I think that is better. We'll take main camera. And again, we can re rework more on the textures. You know, just maybe change textures on a pumpkin itself. But I want to show you different ways we can create. Actually, I think I have a double pumpkin stacking right here. I think the one and two pumpkin. Yeah, there was a couple pumpkins there. Okay, so we created all of this. Let's go now take our sunlight and put it away. It should be all dark. We'll take main camera, disable after exposure. Okay, let's go create a moon right here. We'll just increase our size of moon, make it more creepy. Let's phase full moon. So our wolf can scream. 
Pull up brightness and softness. There you go. Main camera. Just leave it right here so we can preview moon. Uh, let's go to add a couple lights. So we'll add one light up front. Make it actually, maybe just on the back. Let's go with a little bit bluish kind of look. And we'll reduce like this, maybe even more. So kind of almost like a foggy look. Okay, in atmosphere edit. Let's go to haze and fogs. We'll take aerial perspective pop up more. Okay, and let's take ground fog density pop up. It should add a little bit right on the bottom of that area. Right around there. But because we don't have necessary sun, it's not necessarily will work that way, but it's still should give it us some effect. Okay, another ones we'll go click and duplicate it, put it right there, except we don't want the volumetric light, and we'll just want to add a little bit warmer look on the pumpkins. Let's bring it a little bit down to the camera level so we can preview our creepy pumpkins. Okay. And maybe a little bit yellowishy. Okay, there you go. Let's leave it better. Okay, we have this light. Let's go take this light and duplicate it. Uh, maybe, you know, I like when it was there, so we'll just bring this closer. There you go. A little bit more haze and fog on this. Again, we can spend a little bit more time, and you know what? Maybe even sunlight, it's hiding. Maybe we want to bring back, like right here, and just put it right where the moon, so the light coming from that direction. Okay, let's try bring up, see what we have it. Yeah, too dark, so let's go like on the horizon almost. So I want to see, still see kind of like lighting there in the atmosphere, but it's given us a nice look. Um, if on a pumpkin, for some reason, like this, maybe it's too bright, we'll go to our pumpkin itself. Let's go to highlights. And I don't necessarily like when I'm look, I think it's a little bit too bright highlights. So we'll just like almost kill it that way. And the same, we'll just go do it this way. And we'll go to reduce that way as well. And in some case, you know what? We can always experiment by adding effect and add like luminosity to these, make them glowing. So it could be a kind of interesting effect. Pop up a little bit ambient this light. Okay, uh, let's go to reflections. Pop up global reflectivity and transmit metal. That will add a little bit those highlights on us. So we can do this. I think that one is look kind of what's interesting. So click OK. Let's go to render final, render to screen, 1080. OK. And let's go ahead, render right now, see what we have. And there you go, we have it, some weird pumpkins, glowing pumpkins. Actually, I do like them when they're glowing better. However, we can change them from different things. But it is still um, glowing pumpkins. We have a nice leaf going around. And uh, yeah, I think the moon, I don't know if I like moon here or just make smaller on the top or bigger. So we can play with the moon. Yeah, maybe bigger even, you know, just create huge moon right there and add clouds that will work a little bit better and maybe add more plants on a bag so we can do this but it's already you can see it's look very interesting and again what we've done we spent about one hour literally to create the plant something interesting pumpkin that you can play around create something unique way um for you so let's go ahead and just adjust a couple things here 
you know what i'm just uh, i take these pumpkins and what i do hold down alt and i'll just move them like right there rotate a little bit so they will change view let's go ahead alt again rotate them this way and this is all what it does is just creating this population kind of on the back again we can create select all of them alt hold down alt or option move it we create even more pumpkins on the back okay right all right here and another one right there I don't know, just tons of pumpkins. And let's go take our main camera and just move just slightly up so we can preview those pumpkins from a little bit above, like right there. Um, our planet, let's see. So if we can shrink a little bit down and bring like this to the side, somewhere like right there, moon. Um, maybe you know what I mean and another ones that just if we have very huge and we can bring up so this way we have to kind of more creepy I think I like better with a bigger moon but again you can you know you can play around you can see what you personally prefer if you prefer better bigger moon smaller moon whatever um, you like it so we'll just create like this moon here let's go to atmosphere editor and we'll go to the clouds we'll just add new clouds let's go add a spectral thick camelos I don't want like um, them all over places you can see they will become very reddish but what I want to do I want opacity 100% and I want to drop this density to like one or two percent so it's almost whispering you can see in the clouds will be right there should be just some of them okay, right there with the red lights you know and if we add red lights it's become too much of this so we can actually take then we can take our planet and a shrink it planet red right, make it a little bit smaller then it will be a little bit better because we have a little more blue and less orangey around so like take this one and shrink like make it smaller and put it somewhere like right there on the corner so this way you should have it yeah a little bit I don't know if I like those clouds. No, I like planet better. And this is what's happening many times. I'm just play around, see which one is look better. So I will go to atmosphere editor. And with these clouds, let's go just to totally reduce them, drop them down. Altitude, variations, details, feathering, drop a little bit of opacity. And put it just one percent here okay let's go click OK that should make a little bit of those clouds I still want them but not as much let's go now to back to atmosphere editor we'll go to sky fog and um, we can decrease a little bit on decay so it won't be so orange right there and we'll also can just reduce a little bit right there let's go increase haze and fog so that should even be more reduce some of this orangey because on this case our orange pumpkins will start poking up a little bit better there you go okay let's shrinking come on kind of more Right there give give it this curve so we'll have a moon curve a little bit better and move moon a little bit that way so i don't necessarily want to in the center i want to shrink right there okay i think that is good so let's go ahead render i think we're good okay and we're going to render now okay let's take 
a second to prepare. This might take a little bit longer because I add atmosphere. So we'll see how that will go. Uh, we can go right here. So pre pause. Uh, you know what? I should maybe change the height on them. We have some height, but I can go inside and we can modify a little bit on the height of the element. So that will be a little bit nicer. Okay, so till it's still rendering there uh, in the view. What I did, I just changed materials also just to create for fun uh, this metallic look with metal leaves you can see right there. And um, same, just all this metallic pumpkin kind of just showing you how you can modify with the texturing and have it fun. Also, if um, you wanted this all models, um, as RBJ and for the VU, all of this uh, uh, you can use anywhere. They will be available for the Patreon support on so my Patreon website. Link below if you want to go there. So you can download it, models, tutorials, and everything, and all project files as well for you to easy to use. And your help and support greatly appreciated uh, for this. And also, how say stay here because I have ideas for another kind of Halloween plants, more with the teeth, and we'll see when we're going to create those. So we'll have a lot of fun with that. Okay, so right here our plant is done. Let's go click OK on this, and you can see we have a nice this wild plants going all over places. Of course, we can change, and I probably will render in different ways so I can show um, how it stand alone without glowing. So we'll play around with this. But overall, here's our image, the plant that we created inside the plant factory and can use it inside the VU. Again, thank you for watching these videos. And if you find useful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, give me a thumbs up or post comment. Let me know what you want to see in the future. Uh, thank you.